Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Atul and today I am going to talk about James Gurney style sketch easel. This is the modified version of the James Gurney easel in which I have not used the torque hinges and no T-nut. But this version has a better build quality and it is a slightly cheaper, cheaper too. When I came across this James Gunny style sketch easel, I thought that I should make it. So I ordered off this torque hinges of Amazon. These are not locally available in India and uh, these are shipped from China. It takes about three to four weeks to arrive. So if you plan to make it in using this torque hinges anywhere in India, then you will have to wait for three to four weeks about a month and then you can make it but uh, when i i ordered it and then i made it but later on i found out that these are this is plastic and this you have to tighten the screw to hold these two pieces uh, in a particular position so this this screw is metal but this is plastic and i always feel that if i over tighten it it will or if I move a little swiftly or something like that then it will break off so I thought that the build quality of this sketch easel is not that great also when I made this sketch easel I made some mistakes one I chamfered this edge you know a cosmetic modification but uh, later on I found out that when I put my clip over here, it will pop off because of this slant over here. Second, I to keep the things clean, I flushed these magnets with the surface. And uh, when putting on the palette, which has a border in it, or a base, a little different, not flat base, the palette will not stick to it. So these are the two mistakes that I made in this easel. So I decided that I should make another one and uh, this time I did not want to use this so I thought to use this this is a 2-3 inch normal hinge and I had a spare one which was a four, 5 inch brass hinge lying around from some other project and I decided to use this one so I'll show you my easel that I made this is the easy sketch easel that I made in this I have put this bra uh, brass hinge these are screwed these, are, these magnets are not flushed and they are more and I changed the dimensions also it is not I think 10.5 inch if you remove this width of the hinge this is I think 5.5 inch because my sketch book is 5.5 inches I resist this resist this so that it should close properly but I found out that the screws are punching or sticking out so I put these strips here and here as well to cover those and this is this wood is African redwood which is polished or finished with double boiled linseed oil instead of a t-nut what I used here if you can see it this is quarter inch to three by eight inch a quarter inch internal to three by eight inch external adapter for camera mounts so this I used here and epoxied it on this and I can just put in this is flush you have to keep it flush otherwise the quick release plate will jiggle around so you have to keep it flush here in, in this the modified version what hold on a second I'll just open it in the modified version I was not able to flush it because of some drilling error or something like that so I put another piece of wood so that it becomes flush with the 
flush with this wood and this way I can put my quick release plate like so and now it will not be good. put it here so now to the meat of the video what I did to keep this in this angle because after putting it like this on the easel I should be able to it should not go down because it is a normal hinge so what I did is that I put a, a, a leather strip I screwed it along with the hinge because of the leather strip I am not able to close it fully but this is the trade off that I am accepting so I decided upon the angle this is a fixed angle which is convenient for me for painting if you uh, if you don't have a leather strip you can use a piece of linen or fall leather or uh, you can cut some belt or an old shoe it is up to you if you're a vegan then you can go for a feather uh, fall leather or a linen piece if you find value in this video then please press the like button and if you have any queries then you can put it into the comments uh, you can follow me on the Instagram uh, and put a message over there and uh, consider subscribing I will be bringing up more art related videos on this channel so stay tuned thank you